So the last few videos we navigated with the camera and duplicated and went into edit mode. One of the most useful tools is extrude. And we're going to compare that to duplicate. They act very differently. So first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the cube and I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it on the X a little bit and then G to grab on the Y a little bit. So just move it over there. And I can hide it if I don't want to uh, see it here in the viewport. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this is what happens when you duplicate in object mode. You get a second copy of the object. So I'm going to hide that copy and click on the original. Now if I go into edit mode, A is select all, and you can rotate your camera around just to be sure it's selected all of them. If I do shift D to duplicate, it looks the same, but look up here in the collection and there's not an additional cube that got created. So what happened is we have one mesh object, but it has two separate components or two separate parts. You can separate this out, uh, but let's go ahead and just delete this instead. X vertices is the most complete deletion. What in the world just happened? I just highlighted everything and hit delete, but we still see one vertex. So let's move the camera around a little bit. And if you look, we did not select the last one. There's so a few ways to do it. Of course, you can move the camera, press shift select, totally reasonable way to do that. You've selected everything now. There's another way to do it. And you wanna start being careful because if you come up here and start changing these, you'll notice some menus, you have to scroll over to see them. If you press this, uh, what do they call that? Viewport shading. This is x-ray mode here and you can select things that are behind. So if hidden faces, you can select them. You gotta be very careful, because if you select like this, you selected everything. So the, again, the angle of the camera is super important here. You can undo selections, X, delete vertices. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the normal view here. And let's start extruding. But one way to do it is select all these, E to extrude. And what that just did, it created four brand new faces, four new vertices, and all the edges needed to build this. G to grab, and you can make it different shapes. I want to make a Tetris style block. Uh, for some reason, I'm thinking about the L shaped one. So let's go ahead, E to extrude. I want to extrude on the X axis, so I'm pressing X, so it locks it into the X axis, and I'm going to go with two. Enter. So now I have uh, the blocks made twice as wide. And wouldn't it be nice if I could select a face? Well, you can, can select a face up here. This is ed, uh, edge select, and this is face select. So I can do edge select, and if I extrude an edge, it's a little bit funky. Right here, you extrude an edge, and you get an extra face here and two extra edges. You want to be very careful, though, because Depending on what you're building for, uh, you probably don't want to just have an edge sticking out and a, a two-dimensional face. You want to always have something with a volume in it. So I'm going to go to face select mode right here. Now I'll click on the face, E to extrude, and I'm going extrude has already locked it to the axis that's perpendicular to the face you're extruding. Uh, so basically it's gonna extrude directly out from wherever the face is looking. It's a little bit funky if you select two that face it, two faces facing different directions, E to extrude, I believe it averages the two. It gets a little even more funky with three. It kind of goes a combination of them. So generally, uh, depending on what you're doing, usually good to only extrude faces uh, that are parallel with each other. So E to extrude. Now I want to extrude two, enter. And depending on which Tetris block we want, E to extrude, two, enter. So here's one of the Tetris blocks like that. If you want to make all the Tetris blocks, uh, D to duplicate this. Why did that not work? Let's delete that cube. Shift D to duplicate. Uh oh. I'm 
There we go. I don't know what was happening there. If you don't want this to move, you can uh, press Escape or I think right click and it will duplicate it where it started. So now you have two cubes on top of each other. So I'm gonna hide the original cube, which is just called cube. The way I have it preferences set up, when I make a duplicate, it adds the 0 .001. If I duplicate a second time, oh, there we go. Blender is very tricky. If you select over here and duplicate, Blender's not happy. You can copy and paste up here, which will have a similar effect, but if you want to duplicate with Shift D, you do have to select it inside the workspace window. Where your mouse is when you press Shift D has a very big effect. So let me delete this cube. You can delete over delete objects over here on the right. So I'm going to duplicate this again. If my mouse is over here in a duplicate, however, you're gonna see I'm pressing Shift D and nothing's happening. So your mouse does have to be here, Shift D, and now we've made a duplicate. All right, so I got quite a few cubes right here. So let's hide them all. I'll just work on cube one. Sh uh, tab to go to edit mode. I wanna take out this entire, uh, this entire chunk right here. And there's a few ways to do it. Probably the best way, delete this face. If I just delete faces, it just puts a, a hole in it. But if I hit X to delete and I go vertices, I've deleted it. However, there's a hole here, but I did show you how to fill holes. Unfortunately, face select's not gonna work here because there's no faces to really select. So I can go to edges, I'm pressing shift to select all these edges and then F to fill, so we've patched the hole. Now I'm gonna go back to face mode, select this, E to extrude, to enter. We made another Tetris block, like that. I hope I remember what all the Tetris blocks look like. Uh, I'm gonna go back into object mode, so hide that. Cube two, make that visible. So I'm gonna do something similar here, go to edit mode. You can also do this by scrolling over, turning on wireframe mode. Now if you notice, there's little dots here. I'm in face select mode, so when I click on a dot, it selects the face that that dot is the center of. So it's a little bit tricky here. There's two dots, and depending on which dot I click on, I select that face. Now I wanna get all of them and delete them. So I'm pressing X to delete. I'm just gonna go with faces, boom. It's very hard to tell there's not a face here, but you can sorta of see there's a dot missing. So now I'm gonna go back and now I went into edge select. I'm gonna to try to do this with a box select, F to fill. What I really wanna do is make another box in the upper left here. And that's a little bit tricky. So the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna to go to face select and I'm gonna delete these two faces. I'm gonna go only faces. So, I don't want this extra edge that has no faces in it. So delete only edges and faces. That didn't do what I wanted. I'm just gonna. T All right, what just happened there is I had multiple edges created in the same place. Not great. Kind of tricky to know you've done that. Uh, so how in the world are we going to make this look like that two by two Tetris block? I'm gonna go vertice mode. I like vertice mode a lot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two vertices, I'm gonna duplicate them, shift D, press Z to lock it to the Z axis. Now I wanna move it up two, this is positive two. So I'm gonna press two on the keyboard, enter. So I've just taken these vertices and put them exactly where they need to be. I do have an edge between them. So there's a few ways to create the rest of the geometry we need. So I move the camera around so I can select those two right there. F to fill, F to fill, F to fill. You wanna be careful because if I fill this, I've accidentally grabbed the one in the back. So I don't want that, F to fill. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So I created some extra stuff I don't want. Go to edges. I've created a face here too, and I believe I have two extra edges and a face. So I think 
delete edges and faces, we'll get rid of all that stuff. It's very easy to create geometric errors here. All right, I want to fill some faces. It's tempting to just go and grab it all and hit F to fill. That may work, but I'm a little bit more careful than that. So I'm going to, we're in edge select. So I'm going to click one, two, three, four, that's hard to click there, four, fill. One, two, three, four, fill. One, I'm holding down shift to multiple select. Oops, missed right there, four, it's the right four, F to fill, we're almost there. Last one, I think if I get the camera in a perfect spot, I might be able to knock these out with one selection. Yes. All right, so another thing, you can look down here and it says edges four slash 56. That means I have four selected out of 56, which is how many I wanted to select, F to fill. All right, so now we have the two by two Tetris cube. And we'll go back to object mode. You can label these with better names. I think there's a fourth Tetris piece that I can't think of at the moment. Oh, it's the, yeah, I know what it is, the little T-shaped thing. Uh, so go ahead and turn the last one into the T-shaped thing. So what you will do is take this, delete that, fill in the space missing, and then you can extrude over to here. There's other ways to do it, of course, uh, but that's just the way that came to my mind first.